This is Sean from Solace Review. Today we're going to be going over the Green Lantern premium format figure from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, he has a lot of personal emotional connection for me. Uh, he's probably what I would describe as my favorite uh, hero. So um, I definitely really wanted a Green Lantern piece. I'm probably going to be getting another one when I find one that works for me, uh, but uh, for now I love this piece too. It's a controversial piece though. There are many who do not love this, and we're going to get into it. Uh, a little bit of backstory here. Um, Green Lantern, DC Comics. Uh, he is not the original Green Lantern, who was Alan Scott. Uh, this is Hal Jordan. Uh, he was introduced as a Green Lantern, I believe, in the late 50s. Um, and that took it from a mystical, magic-based hero to a somewhat uh, sci-fi technology-based hero. Uh, the ring that he possesses grants him the ability to manifest anything he can imagine into a projection. Um, he essentially is a space police officer who is assigned to a sector of the universe and uh, our sector in the comics is 2814. Uh, so he takes over after um, the Green Lantern of this sector is killed. Um, the ring for each user gives them while it's the same power, a much different use. Um, Hal is uh, a little bit simpler than other uh, Green Lanterns, like Kyle Rayner. Uh, so for Hal Jordan, he uses things like giant fists or things he's familiar with, like jet fighters and such, while uh, Kyle Rayner would use things like giant robots um, and others based on their own individual tastes. So, uh, Hal Jordan is probably, I would say, the most famous of all Green Lanterns. He's essentially at least the most, well, I wouldn't necessarily say most important, but he leads the Green Lanterns in many situations. Uh, so let's begin with concept here. Uh, does it look like it's from the movie? No, that's a good thing. Does it look like it's from the comics? Uh, pretty darn close. Uh, obviously, Sideshow put their own spin on things. Uh, they added a few details to the suit, uh, and, you know, embossed lines and such. But other than that, the, the design essentially is exactly like out of the comics for um, for Hal Jordan at least. So let's see here. The paint job on it, um, I like a lot of it. I love the green color, the metallic on the boots. I love I love the face. Uh, the portrait is phenomenal on this. They use it looks like a that kind of clear resin on there to give it a lifelike skin effect. The uh, hair paint is um, normal. Uh, it wasn't uh, nothing to, you know, really shine on. It looks uh, very decent though. Um, there isn't a ton of complexity to the paint that is throughout the piece. Uh, the greens are not one dimensional though. Um, but looking at the base here, the base doesn't look like anything that's out of the comics. Obviously, he's using some sort of a Green Lantern effect for a construct, but what is with the silver down here? I don't understand. Are they trying to show us something from Oa, the home planet? That's not clear. Uh, there is, though, a dark green paint that comes from the... Uh, the base here that doesn't really match with any of the other green aesthetic pieces so I don't know what that's trying to say um, since it doesn't match anything from the comics it, it 
it feels um, without purpose. Now, that's fine. I mean, they're probably trying to not distract from the statue itself, from the character, but uh, realistically, the base, it's very large compared to the character. Uh, the Sinestro piece has a very small footprint. Uh, I think that they could have done something similar. They also didn't really make the uh, effect very translucent at all. You can get light through it, but it's, it's not very clear. Um, I think that that's a miss. Uh, especially that you can get some light through elements of the construct, but not through the construct part of the base. There's a, a bit of a disconnect there. Um, the idea of him needing steps is a little odd too, since he can fly. Why would he take time to visualize steps, which are made of lanterns, when he simply could fly? Um, okay, looking through here, yeah, you know, the sculpt on the area below the construct on the base, it has some swirls through it, but um, I, I really think that there's a lot that could have been achieved that they didn't take the chance on. Uh, the green on the uniform looks good. It's uh, multi-dimensional. It, uh, I see variants in color. It's almost um, metallic or um, kind of a transitioning, you know, kind of a, a green rainbow sheen effect that uh, changes depending on where you're looking at it. The muscularity is on point. Symbol looks very clean. The gloves are a nice clean white. They had a sculpted in ring here that they painted a green effect around. Um, I think that the green to me looks a little different than any other green that's anywhere here. So not the green I would have chosen, but I do like the attempt to have a glow there, but this would be another thing where I think that uh, maybe uh, a built-in light would be the next level of cool or um, uh, some sort of a resin effect off the hand could have been interesting. Um, sculpt on the uniform though as far as like boot shape and everything, a glove, hand, everything looks great on point. I wouldn't change a thing about that. Um, if you're into it, you know, solid athletic rear end here on them. It's, uh, it's a good sculpt. I like the, uh, the statue as a whole. It's a, a very favorable character for me. Uh, hair, I probably would have done a little bit more, um, variance, uh, shadowing, a darker elements in there. It, it kind of looks a little washed out brown. Um, but there's good detail on the face. Uh, there's um, skin pores. Uh, everything looks very solid on the face. Um, this is the EX version. So there is a lantern that lights up. Um, I like the effect of the, the look of the lantern. What I don't like is number one, that it's battery. I never like battery. Batteries die. Uh, the units break down. I mean, even wired can break down, but I just don't like the hassle of uh, not having it switched to an AC. Um, I want it to come on when I turn on my lights and turn off when I turn it off. I have to manually go in and turn this bottom part here just to turn it on. It's, it's not worth it at all to have on. Um, and, and I think that's a miss. Um, the regular edition is just another hand. I really think that this is definitely, for me, an EX or fail. Um, if you were to have the regular edition, I'd constantly be thinking about what was missing. Um, no additional head sculpts, but uh, for the price point on the statue, it is a um, about 400, 450. I got mine below retail. Um, depending on the deal, you can definitely achieve that. 
Um, and I think for the price, that it's really hard to beat it. Uh, there is um, versions from Prime One that are fantastic. There are a lot of customs I've seen that are great. Um, I am hoping for another quarter scale that uh, comes from Sideshow or something that works for me that, uh, that I can put into my collection and take this to the next level. The Jon Stewart premium format is something that I've got my eye on. Uh, looks great and uh, so it'll be interesting to compare with this. Um, let's try and measure them out. Looks like at his highest point he's just about 24 inches and I'm gonna go with the width at just about 11. Uh, so that should do it. Uh, overall, definitely worth it. If you guys have any questions, please make sure you let me know. I love chatting with you guys. And please like, subscribe, share. Uh, it helps the channel to move forward. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. This is Sean. Bye-bye.